So now in this video of the series, we're going to look at the PNP bipolar junction transistor wired as a switch. Last video, we looked at the NPN bipolar junction transistor wired as a switch. Basically, it's the same circuit, except for since it being a PNP instead of NPN, it has opposite chemistry, current flows in the opposite direction, and the voltages involved are in the opposite direction. But otherwise, we have an arrow on one side for the emitter. The base has its own side right there. Collector has the uh, same side of the bar as the emitter. There you can see the names right there. And hopefully when you're reading a schematic diagram, you have a part number. The difference is the direction the arrow is pointing. It points in for PNP, whereas it points out for NPN. You are more likely though to see the emitter on top like that because when it's in a circuit for a schematic uh, diagram, the emitter goes towards the more positive side of the power supply, which is usually drawn above the more negative side of the power supply ground right there. The specific PNP BJT we're going to use is the 2N3906, so that's close to the same number of the uh, last video I did, the 2N3904, which was an NPN bipolar junction transistor. They're actually complementary. Those two uh, transistors, they can handle about the same amount of current and voltages and everything, just in opposite direction. They also have the same pin layout, emitter to the left, base in the middle, collector to the right, when you're looking at the flat side. To get all the uh, specific values, consult a data sheet. So now, when it comes to the switch circuit with the PNP bipolar junction transistor, it's uh, pretty much the same as the NPN, uh, but again, the polarities and voltages are opposite. So now the transistor's on the high side of the uh, circuit, uh, more positive, and the load is more negative. With NPN, load was more positive, transistor was more negative. So we do have it on the high side now. That's a more natural spot for a switch. Usually switch comes before load, and so that may be one reason why you want to use a PMP bipolar junction transistor. But in any case, if there's no emitter to base current, because you have an opening here, current can't flow, then there's going to be no current from emitter to collector. And thus, everything in series with it will also have no current. So that is cut off or an off switch. Now we come over to the opposite scenario for this circuit if we close the switch bridge the cap from uh, resistor to ground right here now we have a current path you can see we got positive there the direction of the arrow flows uh, to the base we're going to lose a little bit of voltage but in case we got a 10,000 ohm resistor setting the current 5 volts minus about 0.7 volts drop from emitter to base that will put uh, 4.3 volts across a 10,000 ohm resistor ultimately we'll get about 0.43 milliamps of current so a small amount of current, but the main thing is the transistor will probably have a gain of at least 100, maybe 200, maybe 300. The main thing is that uh, when we have the gain, where we have a higher amount of current than what the load is going to set. So a 0.43 times 100 is 43 milliamps, which is higher than 20 milliamps. The transistor won't be what limits the current. In this case, the load will be because the load's limiting the current more than the transistor. So the transistor is fully on, it's saturated. So now here we are on the board. There's a 2N3906 right there, small writing. The loop helps a lot. Emitter to the left, base in the middle, collector was on the right. And so we turn it the other way that we had the NPN, bipolar junction transistor in the uh, last video. So right now the uh, power supply is off. And uh, so I'll turn that on. The lighting isn't uh, in the best spot. But in any case, we have uh, no base uh, connection. If I touch it though, I can get a little bit of emitter to uh, base current with my body. But in any case, we can make sure this stays off better. Go into the positive supply right there. If we go to the negative supply, now we have a current path from emitter to base and the transistor is on. About 19 milliamps of current total. If I remove the LED, you can see we got less than one milliamp of uh, current. Make sure the LED is in the right way so that it's in the direction that it conducts. 